Welcome back to Caffeine Confessionals. We have another player preview for the challenge, Double Agents. This time it is five things you need to know about Miss Gabby Allen. Number one, Gabby's original show is Love Island UK Series 3, the same season that brought us Theo and Georgia. She made it all the way to the end of that show after starting a relationship with a man named Marcel. He was a musician who was part of a semi-famous uh, group in the UK called Blazing Squad. Not really popular here, but popular in the UK. He would always mention it when he was on TV. Number two, following Love Island, Gabby appeared on Big Brother UK Celebrity Edition. It is here she actually got into a feud with Natalie Nunn from Bad Girls Club and shared a house with Kirstie Alley. On this season, she was one of the finalists, but she was voted the least popular finalist by the fans. Likewise, on Love Island, she made it all the way to the end and was voted one of the least four popular couples. It sucks for Gabby because she obviously knows how to make it to the end of a show, but she doesn't know how to get the fan love just yet. Number three, in terms of general stats, Gabby is five foot one and a half, 121 pounds. She's also 28 years old and has a staggering 1.1 million Instagram followers while being a personal trainer herself. Number four, Gabby enters this season in a committed relationship. She dates former nude model and ex on the beach UK season four star, Brandon Myers. This is a little bit of a problem for Gabby because in the challenge, it's a little bit easier to assimilate when you're a rookie if you are single and able to mingle and politic and do whatever. When you're taken, you're a little bit closed off. And number five, Gabby is a legitimate personal trainer. A lot of challenge people like to do their fitness uh, programs or they get hired by a gym for a few months. No, Gabby's legit. She's been working for a company called FIIT Fit and she does videos where, you know, she's your at-home trainer on your TV. She also has contributed to Women's Health, has books, uh, does tons of stuff on Instagram. She is committed to her craft, similar to Emily Crom. She's not as fit as Emily Crom, but Gabby is in really good shape and could give the girls a run for their money. If anything, she's my dark horse favorite to win this season. Can Gabby win this season? I think from a cardiovascular standpoint, everything you look at her from her social media, this girl's committed to fitness and she can physically run a final. But can she do puzzles? Can she do the weird stuff? That's that's what we gotta learn. We're gonna need to watch her compete on our TV screens to see if she can. I don't think she's gonna make the final because she's only 5'1". The people will see that little tiny girl and see her as an elimination target, especially for the bigger ones, where they just could dominate her in a physical game. Regardless of how it plays out, I wish Gabby good luck this season. On top of that, please like, comment, and subscribe.